What up, family? She has got a news reporter, Mary Lee. Dash between the mayor and the Lee. Also, the originator of rap. Today is Thursday, Thursday in my city, Chicago. I came up with that saying, Thursday, Thursday. It is May 20th, 2021, so they say. It could be 2020. It could be May 19th. It could be whatever you want. It seems as though that's the new trend. You can do whatever you want to do. You can be whatever. You know, when people used to say that back in the day, you can be whatever you want to be. I never thought it would go to the extremes of uh, adults losing their minds when it comes to their uh, young or their children or their kids or their um, babies, family or whatever the case may be. Now, Back in the day, about eight years ago, I did a video called Straight Talk Only. And I believe it was like in 2012, something like that. Um, basically, letting the viewer know about the up and coming things that are happening right now. It's kind of like I predicted the future, but of course, people always think I'm the crazy one. But for some reason, everything I do, people tend to copy knowing I'm right-handed. And that's why left-handed people always copy right-handed people. So if you look in a book, what does it say? Copyright. And what did people used to say back in the day? Don't tell your left hand what your right hand is doing. But if you write with both hands or don't have any hands, then what? So let's cut the buffoonery and get straight down the point. To the point. Like I said, we're going to do it the way that they say it is. Like uh, today is May 20th. We get Thursday, my fault, Thursday, Thursday in my city, Chicago, 2021. Okay. Now, yesterday's supposed to have been Malcolm X's birthday. LeBron James supposed to have played a game yesterday, right? Let's get to the good part first. I beat the streets. I beat whatever I had going on in my room because I, I do it in my room and then I hit the streets or I do a video or I, you know, write about it, blog about it, whatever the case may be. But I still win. Now, yesterday was the 19th. They said that uh, the Lakers, you know, won. Okay, cool, no problem. Today, I got on my um, pool table and... I basically said before I broke the pool balls that I put into a crown, you know, that was yesterday, you know, talking about LeBron James. You understand what I'm saying? Everything I'm saying is on my higher power, meaning don't shit on me and say it's raining. So I broke the balls, and guess what number dropped? The 13 and the 6. See, at the age of 6, I was in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper, back in 1973 for being a child abuse victim. My stepson, Mario Durrell Evans birthday is November the 13th. I told him in 1995 that my signature was gonna be worth more than Michael Jordan. How many rings does Michael Jordan have? Six, okay? 13 and six is what? 19. That was yesterday, right? So when I broke broke the uh, crown on the uh, pool table or whatever, the balls, it added up to 19, which means don't shit on me and say it's raining. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And then I went with my uh, basketball 
you know, you see my basketball, this is how it happened. This one went first, the rainbow, and then the bulls. And then I said a little something, something. And then I, I was saying something about Michael Jordan. And then I hit this one. You understand what I'm saying? It wasn't one, two, three, but it was like one, two. And then maybe I think I missed a couple. Of, then I said something about Michael Jordan and then it went in. You understand what I'm saying? Now, this ball didn't come with this here, you know, thing right here. But I hit this one first. It's the rainbow. You understand what I'm saying? This is the original ball that came with this, though. So it takes two to make a thing go right. Now, I don't like people taking my truths and turning it into their own and stuff and make it seem as though I'm the problem or I'm homophobic or I'm, you know, against the LGBTQ, elemental P, Q, I, S, T, U, V, whatever. I'm not. I've been a lesbian. I done been straight i'd have been bisexual and i'd have been bi curious and i've been trisexual if you understand where i'm going with that and a lot of that stuff was not to my consent it was them molding me to try to make them or make me what they wanted me to be you understand what i'm saying now you know i'm gonna put a bunch of links in this video and i'm gonna call it you know straight talk to now i'm not trying to get people to be heterosexual bisexual whatever the case may be my first ever youtube video mary mac versus the fat black oprah winfrey and that i posted in november of 2007 pretty much gave everybody you know props for whatever you know sexual orientation they are were is or whatever the case may be you understand what i'm saying but i did not talk about bestiality and dead people you understand what i'm saying because it just didn't enter my mind because you know what i'm saying for real for real i didn't think it was going to probably come down to that and i think that's what they're trying to do make everything acceptable bestiality dead people uh children you know because they saying that children you know are allowed to make up their minds about you know what sex they are before they can even drive and cook and whatever the case now don't get me wrong there's a lot of children out there doing a lot of adult like things and you know have uh adult like mentalities or behavior but that's only because they've been violated as a baby see the devil think they slick they manipulate you as a child or whatever and stuff a baby and then you know you grow up thinking you know that you sane, but literally you are um, suffering from some sick, twisted-minded person's personality that was placed into your wicked demon and stuff, pretty much, and stuff. So, you know, all my life, they've been trying to get me one way or another and stuff. And I look the way I do because they kept experimenting on me and I've been, you know, taken advantage of by guys. And if you grow up, you understand what I'm saying, after being violated and, you know, poked and pried on or whatever, you tend to look like this. Now, I am a girl for real, a lady. I, my birthday is May 25th, 1967. I have a birthday coming up, you know, and always around that time, something bad happens. So you have to be careful and stuff for real because George Floyd allegedly died on my birthday last year. You understand what I'm saying? But they was trying to get me, you understand, for some reason or another. You know, I'm just a target for everybody, I guess. I don't know if you just don't agree or have a difference of opinion then they cancel you or they blackball you or they, you know, you know how they do. So I guess I'm the perfect target for that. But keep in mind, I am a victim to this day. I've been a child abuse victim since birth and stuff, but I have overcome many things or whatever and stuff as far as adversities coming my way and people trying to change me to be what they want me to be. And, and when they realized that I was not going to be their spokesperson for real, for real, you understand what I'm saying? The way they wanted it to be. You know, they wanted me to change my identity, but I'm the originator of rap. I can't do that because that would change my whole, you know, story and stuff. And I believe that's why they are doing a lot of things to these foster children so they will not be able to collect their inheritance. It's all about money, property, and prestige. Don't let them fool you. Now, let's talk real talk. It's a um documentary. You know, I want my sex back with white people you know older white people talking about they wish they would have never you know fallen for that 
you know, sex change back in the day when they was younger, somebody would have told them something, you know, like I'm trying to tell you, you understand what I'm saying? And you can click on the links in here, this video, like I said, and then I'm going to, you know, title straight talk only part two. Now I'm not telling you one way or another how to, you know, interact with your significant other race, creed, you understand what I'm saying? Sexual orientation, none of that. I myself, I don't drink drugs, smoke, or fornicate because I'm trying to get my mind right from being fucked since birth. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And, you know, I'm proud of myself regardless of what people may tend to uh, view me as. You understand what I'm saying? I also have to say this, that I once knew a girl that was a girl and then she turned into a guy and I sent her recently on the bus and she acted like she didn't even know me. Now, if you are not um, ashamed of yourself, you could at least say, hey, how you doing? You understand what I'm saying? I will walk around proud. You understand? For real. Like I did with my ex-girlfriend, Lawanda Joy Jacobs. I'm hoping she was a real girl because she was the only lesbian, allegedly, you know, that ever asked me if she could insert a fake penis in me. See, they was trying to get me to like penis i believe and impregnate me and then take my child and you know raise it the way they want now i've been abducted since you know i've been railroaded a couple of times and homeless and you know i was in an emergency room one time and i know they had to have taken my eggs and things of that nature and stuff for real for real and ain't no telling what's happening and stuff for real if i have a child out there or not see if they was really up on the up and up they would not have sent me through all that because there's people out here, you know, that will be willing to donate their eggs, sperm, and all that and stuff. What? Why? Why come after me? Because I'm worth the most. I'm worth zillions. Okay, real talk. Now, I'm not here to gay bash. Like I said, this is personal when it come to me, and I have every right to speak upon it because I've been violated the most. I don't plan on changing my um identity for no one. I mean, this is how I'ma look. This is just how I'm going to look and stuff because of them. But I'm not changing my sex. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk for nobody. Now, what happened is just being gay. I mean, lesbians and gay guys and stuff. And, you know, giving people a chance to figure out what they want to be. And why is that so much of the focus when we have a pandemic going on with the coronavirus and a whole bunch of other stuff? See, I believe that's just a smoke screen so they can get away with all that money that my generation me being the originator of rap and all the best and a whole lot of other stuff you know generated money and they trying to get away with it because that stuff costs money you know to change people's sex and they trying to uh kind of laundry the money any way possible though they don't care they don't care i'll put a uh a description of how quick they cut your nuts and butts and your balls off you know what i'm saying when i got railroaded may 31st 2008 for so-called you know, disarm the police officer. The spirit made me grab the so-called police officer nuts to let them know, hold on to your your nuts, motherfucker. And they was in they was in plain clothes. They weren't even in uniform, so they really didn't count. But the spirit did. So I just want people to know that you know they was trying to groom me up out of my inheritance, and because I peep game, you know they a little upset, and I understand. But, yeah, I hit that basket and stuff for real. So I had my little NBA, you know, shirt on and everything. My glasses just like this and stuff. And uh, <laughs> LeBron, come on now. But Anthony Davis, oh, you know, you know, it takes two to make a thing go right. And that's probably why I hit both of them. And a lot of these guys are trying to live vicariously, you know what I'm saying, through their children because they are gay and don't want to come out and stuff. You know, come on out the closet and stop putting all that pressure on your children. Let's see what the Bible has to say. Okay, I got up. Acts chapter 17. I was 17 years old when I gave Oprah Winfrey my uh, child abuse rap in 1984. That's the honest to God's truth. Acts chapter 17. All right. Actually, it's 16 and 17, but 17 is on this page. Gotta go. Peace.